Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this video I am going to demonstrate how you can correct an underexposed image in Lightroom. So I'm going to be working with this photo and this photo was shot at high noon um, right in the shade. You can see my camera settings over here. I had a pretty low ISO, um, a really fast shutter speed. But, you know, when working with toddlers, sometimes I can't get all of my settings done right in camera um, because they move around so quickly. So this was like a one-time shot. So it's a little underexposed. So I'm going to show you how to easily fix that in Lightroom. So we are in the develop module and I shot this in RAW so this is a good starting point because um, I can make really good adjustments by shooting in RAW. So um, I'm going to just start by adjusting the exposure, just bringing it up a bit. Um, I like um, a lot of brightness to my photos so if this looks too bright for you, um, you can tone it down a little bit. but that's about good. Okay, so I'm gonna just kinda zoom in here and you can see there's a tiny bit of noise because it was a little uh, underexposed but not too much because um, it was shot during the day with a really hot or really low ISO. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna do a little bit of portrait sharpening right about here. Um, I'm gonna do some masking and I could even come over here and do a little bit of noise reduction because it's a little noisy after I sharpened it, but not too much. Okay, so that's a good starting point. Um, I do like to polish up my photos um, with my presets. I'm going to use the Timeless Film preset, and that looks a little heavy, so I'm going to come up to the tone curve and kind of just bring these points down a little bit because sometimes presets don't always work um, perfectly so a little adjustments need to be done here and there okay and then I'm going to also add a very light vignette to make it pop and I could even come up to her face and even like dodge her face a little bit if I wanted her face to be a little brighter but I think that's a good starting point so Basically, when trying to save an underexposed image, you just come over here to your sliders. Um, you can adjust for exposure. You can also reduce the shadows, so I could even bring up these shadows a little bit. Um, or I can make them more bold. You know, it really just depends on the photo and the look that you're trying to achieve. So I'm going to leave it right about there. And you can see the before and after just, you know, with those tiny adjustments, sharpening, and a little bit of presets, this photo is now um, salvageable. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and that you'll be able to go through your photos and save the ones that don't always turn out perfectly. So um, it happens not a lot for me, but, you know, enough, you know, that I have to do it on occasion. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm um, going to be adding a lot more Lightroom tutorials on my channel. So check that out. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.